What's going on everybody? Today we're taking a look at my native tank. I haven't shot a whole lot of video of this tank, so I thought I'd uh, give you guys a look at it. I do apologize for the glare in the background. I have quite a few tanks and you know, when one's across the room and the lights are on, you know, I can get the glare. I could shut them off. That would just take too much time. I have them on timers and all that good stuff. But in this tank, I have a few crayfish. I have a Northern long ear. There's also a rock bass in here about the same size as that guy right there. Um, he stays hidden. He's not friendly. He don't want to be seen. He just wants to hide. I do have these guys eating shrimp pellets. That's about the only thing I can get them to eat. I've tried getting them, you know, floating cichlid pellets. I've tried flakes. They won't eat anything except for shrimp pellets. So that's what they're, that's what they're eating for now. But they're doing good. I've had this guy here for about two months. I did catch him out of a creek behind my house. Well, it's about a quarter mile behind my house. Uh, this is where all these guys came from. This is where the wood came from. So everything in here is from their home. I'm not a huge fan of the air stone. Uh, my thinking was these guys come from a creek that's you know probably very well oxygenated. So I wanted to keep the water as oxygenated as possible so it would match their you know, somewhat match where they come from. So that's why that's in there. I did have a sponge filter in there. I took it out and put the air stone in. I might put the sponge filter back in, we'll see. Uh, but for now, that's what it looks like. I have a much larger crayfish in there and he's hiding. Uh, this guy right here, he's, uh, he's not shy. If the camera would focus, there we go. Those are rusty crayfish. They are actually invasive in a few states around uh, surrounding Ohio, Indiana, I think Kentucky. Uh, these guys are invasive, but they are native to Ohio. Uh, they get very large and very aggressive. I think we have like 21 species of crayfish in Ohio. Um, these guys right here are like, when you're out fishing and you're cutting, you know, you see crayfish, I've never seen any other crayfish but these guys, so we have quite a few. Like I said, I have a rock bass in here. He's hiding, but he is alive. I've seen him. Uh, I have a darter in here. Uh, he hides underneath this log. I'm not sure what kind of darter. Hopefully it's a rainbow darter, but we'll see. He's, he's, kind, of, he's kind of tiny. But the other fish seem to leave him alone, so I've seen him out and about. Uh, you know, it's just random, I'll walk by and I'll see him. Better look at my long ear. I've kept these guys in the past. I actually had three last year. You can go back and look at uh, some of my older videos. I'll attach it in here. Um, they're awesome fish. They don't get real big. They are sunfish. Uh, they're pretty aggressive. But they're just beautiful. The color, the, you know, the colors on their face is amazing. So I'm hoping to get maybe another one, maybe release the rock bass, but those, you know, put another one in here. So I have two. They, like I said, they don't get very large. I think six, maybe six inches is the largest they get. Um, but they're just beautiful fish. Anybody that fishes, you'll know if you have these in your state and you catch them. Sometimes they are just amazing. Sorry guys, let's look at my native tank. Stop back. I'm gonna do some updates on uh, some other things here real soon. So hope to see you guys soon. I'll see you later.